On most days, Theo loves the quiet. The quiet is perfect for reading and doing homework. The quiet is amazing for meditating and doing yoga. And most importantly, the quiet is great for listening to the world around you. But sometimes the quiet can be kind of lonely. And on this day, Theo was feeling especially lonely. Luckily, Theo has some pretty amazing friends. There's his best friend Junior, who loves to go on adventures. His silly friend Mimi, who loves to joke around. And his super supportive friend Kate, who likes trying new things. Theo decided to see if his friends wanted to play. First, he called Junior on the phone, but nobody was home. Then he remembered that Junior and his brother Loopy had gone to their grandparents for the weekend. Next, Theo visited Mimi's house. But when Mimi answered the door, she didn't look so good. Stay back, Theo. I don't want what to get you. <laughs> Sneezed Mimi as Theo ran away for his life. Just as luck would have it, Kate couldn't play either because she was taking family pictures all day. I'm sorry, Theo. Maybe I'll be able to play later, said Kate as she chased after her misbehaving sister. Theo felt lonelier than ever. How would he go on adventures without Junior to lead the way? How would he laugh at silly jokes if Mimi weren't there to tell them? How would he have the courage to try new things if Kate weren't there to encourage him? All is lost, sighed Theo as he rested under an old willow tree. As Theo looked up at the weeping willow, something smiled right back at him. It was a goofy-faced bright red balloon. It must have gotten lost and floated into this tree, thought Theo. Theo did not want to be alone with the quiet anymore. Do you want to play with me? he asked. To his amazement, the bright red balloon floated down to Theo. I guess that means yes. With no time to waste, Theo and his new friend embarked on a day of fun that neither of them would ever forget. He lent his new friend a hat and a shirt because it was a little cold today. First, they went on an adventure through the Sunnyville Forest, where they crossed over the Oogly Boogly River by tiptoeing across Uncle Buck's rickety old bridge. Theo was very scared, but he knew he had to be brave for his new friend. We can do it, he exclaimed. After they crossed the bridge, Theo led the way up Crybaby Hill. They called it Crybaby Hill because if you weren't careful and accidentally stepped in the wrong place, you would hurt the hill's feelings and make him cry rocks. When they reached the top of the hill, Theo and his new friend could see all of Sunnyville. Theo was so proud of himself for going on an adventure that he shouted out the silliest, most strange-sounding yell you had ever heard. He blurted at the top of his lungs. Theo fell down backwards and laughed at himself for doing such a silly thing. Next, they went to Skipper Lake, where Theo found a beach full of the best skipping rocks you had ever seen. Unfortunately, Theo didn't know how to skip rocks, but today was different, and he didn't want to disappoint his new friend. 
Theo picked up a skipping rock and whispered to himself, I have to try. And without thinking, he threw it at the lake with all his might. When the rock hit the water, it skipped all the way across the lake. Theo jumped up in the air. I did it! I did it! I learned how to skip a rock! He yelled. This little turtle was on top of the world. He had led his new friend on a great adventure just like Junior would have done. He yelled at the top of his lungs just like silly Mimi would have yelled. He tried something new just like Kate would have tried. Theo gave his new friend a big hug and told him, I couldn't have done it without you, buddy. When Theo got back home, he saw his neighbor Billy running toward him. Thank you, Theo. You found my balloon, he said. Theo was sad to say goodbye to his new friend, but he knew it was the right thing to do. As Theo waved goodbye, Junior, Mimi, and Kate showed up. Who are you waving goodbye to, Theo? asked Mimi from inside her sick safety suit. Just a friend, replied Theo with a warm smile. Just a friend. Theo told them what he did that day, and everyone was so proud of him. I know I'm not as adventurous as you, Junior, or as funny and good at trying new things as you, Mimi and Kate, he said. Theo! exclaimed Junior. You're the bravest turtle I know! Yeah! added Mimi. And the funniest! And don't forget the greenest! exclaimed Kate. They all laughed out loud and decided to go on another adventure together. The end.